Hey everybody, welcome to a new tutorial with PSD Box. This is going to be a quick tutorial where I want to show you how to create a nice, simple and quick paint effect in Photoshop using a combination of filters. So we're not going to use only the oil paint filter, which is something that is very uh, simple to do. So I'm going to show you something else, how to go a little further, but uh, still keeping it simple. So this is the original image that I had and this is the effect that I got. As I said, it's just it's really simple, but it's just going a little further than just using one filter. Now, before we start creating this effect, I want to tell you a bit how you can create this and how to you can actually go a little further still to create something more uh, custom and maybe even uh, more realistic. So the idea of this is that you download paint, oil paint textures like this ones. I got this ones from Pexels. Uh, I, I didn't use all of them, just I uh, have this just uh, as an example. I used just a few of them. And the idea is that you open these images in Photoshop and then save them as PSD, just as they are without applying any kind of filter to them. Now, you can make this, eff uh, this effect more realistic if you find images not exactly like this one, but with small strokes instead of just this uh, long, uh, brush stroke. So if you find something like this, but even smaller, that would be okay. Uh, also, I used this image for this tutorial. I thought it would be nice as to have as a paint, but uh, you can use any image you like. I will put the links on the video description so you can uh, download the images, or if you're watching this from my website, you can uh, download them from there as well. Uh, for the ones that are new to Photoshop, um, I have an Express Photoshop course an introduction to Photoshop which is three hours long and you can sign up for the, uh, there if you want to learn more about the tools that we're going to use uh, in this video but let's go uh, into Photoshop and let's make this really quick so open your image in Photoshop I'm going to delete this ones open your image in Photoshop whatever image it is if you use this one or another one it doesn't matter create a copy and turn it into a smart object next go to uh, filter and we're going to go into the filter gallery now in here you will by default you'll uh, Photoshop will apply some filters. Uh, make sure you delete anything. Just leave one filter. And the idea here is to reduce the image the image uh, quality uh, the details actually. So I found that the dry brush worked really well because it reduces the amount of details without destroying the image. And use these settings if you want or try others. Also, you can duplicate this filter to have more effect and use different settings on the second copy or try some other like, I don't know, maybe a palette knife, uh, use a lot of detail, stroke, uh, size, maybe use something a little smaller just to keep the, the, the medium details and I don't know, just make some combinations. The idea is to kind of reduce the amount of details on the image without uh, getting something really um, something like this, you still want to tell what you have on your image. So probably something like this maybe would do. Now I'll click OK and you can see the change. We went from this to this. We can still see uh, and understand what the scene is about, but we don't have all those tiny details. Next, go to filter, stylize and use uh, the oil paint filter. Now here it's important that, um, okay, uh, here we go again. Sometimes I don't know what happens, but for some reason, sometimes it just uh, doesn't work. The important thing here is that you apply the lighting effect. Uh, it's that you check it because that will create some uh, brush stroke details, which will actually follow the shapes of your objects here, of, of your, well, your lines and everything. So uh, check that option, set the bristle detail to about this amount and the shine just you can leave it to the default you can change the angle if you want to and then the stylization cleanliness and scale that's really up to you it depends on the canvas size and how you like your filter actually well the effect to be and when you're done just click ok in my case it's not working and i don't know why sometimes it happens so what i will do is just skip this and just uh, move to this to the next filter so once you apply that, go again to filter and use filter gallery again. Make sure you have only one filter and go to the texture, uh, to the texture group here and select texturizer. Now the trick here is 
that, well, Photoshop will apply this canvas by default, but you can load your own custom uh, texture. And this is the novelty of this effect that I came up with. So just click here, choose load texture. And here you'll, uh, you'll have to select those textures that you, the paint, the oil paint texture, which you saved in PSD format. So I will open this one. Uh, I will not give you the PSD files. I will just give you the links to these photos and you just have to open them in Photoshop and save them as PSD. And I'll click load and you can see how that now changes. Now, I will increase the relief a lot so that you can see what is actually doing to my image. Of course, this is extreme and we don't want that, but um, just so that you can see what it does. So you can change the light direction. Uh, you can invert it, of course, if you want to have uh, like the inverted version of the of the texture and the relief uh, to about five. I think it's OK. And you can also change the scale. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. It really depends on the amount of quality you want to have. I think the minimum amount is 50. So you cannot go lower than 50 percent. And also you can use multiple times. Uh, so you can use copies of this, but use different textures. So I use that one and now maybe I will use, uh, I don't know, this one. I'm going to load this one. And for this one, I'm, I will use a higher relief, uh, maybe eight and use a 100% scale. And it's kind of too big. So I'll probably drop the relief or the scale as well to 50, 75 and the relief to maybe five as well and just click OK. And this will give you sort of a 3D effect on your image. Now, uh, it's a shame that I couldn't apply the, the oil paint filter because you would see the, the actual effect. Uh, here I could apply it, but for some reason, as I said, I don't know why, not always, it's not always working, at least in my case, because I have an old Mac and my graphics uh, card is really old. So it sometimes does not support that. But uh, that's the trick, you can, uh, of course, expand this to whatever you want, uh, use different combination of filters, or maybe now you can apply the oil paint filter again. So this is really up to you. If you come up with some cool combination with a really um, nice result, uh, just post a comment and let everybody know. Maybe I will make another video showing you that to the rest of the people. And that's all for today. That's what I wanted to show you, how to create a really quick paint effect without having to go into something really complex and creating really complex actions and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just leave a comment with your opinion about this effect and I hope to join me on my next tutorial.